In today's Positive Parenting, we're joined by Heidi Bennett from the UNH Cooperative Extension, and we're talking about the most important meal of the day, breakfast. Heidi, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for the opportunity. All right, let's start off. Uh, what benefits are there to having a breakfast each day? Because that's something that not everyone does. Absolutely. Um, to start out our energy for the day, that's, that's the basis. Otherwise, we're running on reserves from yesterday. So it's, it's kind of that foundation for the day, getting our energy. It helps us to have mental clarity. It helps us to um, provide nutrients for the day, the, the basis, and to provide nutrients throughout the day. Uh, also improves our overall health. So we miss less work, we miss less school days. Well, so some people are gonna say, well, I just wanna have a big lunch because I don't like eating first thing in the day, but that may not be the best strategy. Uh, absolutely not. Um, breakfast, the word itself, is breaking the fast. So we're fasting while we're sleeping. And breaking that fast, at least within two hours of the time that you wake up, um, helps to provide our body those nutrients that we need to continue through the day. We'll be less agitated through the day. Children will have better behavior because they're not focused on, I'm hungry and I, I, right. want, I want something to eat. They can focus better on, on their work. Um, so that is improved skills within the school system in general. So what would you say to some parents out there who may have trouble getting their children to even eat first thing in the morning? I know I, I'm not a very good eater first thing in the morning. <laughs> uh, so there are great school lunch programs here in the Manchester area. All of the schools have great school lunch programs. Get your kids invested in those. Um, even more importantly, get your kids, uh, if you have the time, to have breakfast with your kids. But keep it simple. Having at least three food groups, um, especially if one of them can be a protein, that's going to be long sustaining energy um, and a good whole grain or good fiber sources. But make sure it's foods that you, the kids like so you don't have to have that uh, arguments in the morning over whether or not they're going to eat those foods. Okay, real quick. Uh, we, we often talk about what, things being important to, to eat together, why it's important to sit down for a meal. Why is that so valuable? So it builds special bonding time between parent and child. But one of the things that I always promote, and most importantly, is parents being a role model for children. Our children learn what to do as an adult by watching us. So if they see, oh, mom only grabs coffee in the morning and never eats breakfast, the children are gonna think, when I'm an adult, that's all I have to do. And for all the benefits there are for kids, better test scores, better uh, performance in school, as adults, we have better performance at work and better performance are taking care of our kids. All right, Heidi, those are some great facts to chew on. Thank you so much for your time. Stay with us, we'll be right back.